We've had an unbelievable year. Crisscross the country, all sorts of great stories. It has come down to this, and there are some serious opportunities if cards fall certain ways. Yeah, like most motorsport, I mean, there's four people who can mathematically win. I mean, let's look at Scott Petter in fourth position. He's had pace all year, and obviously consistency has been a drama. His chance to win, Harry needs no points, and he almost <laughs> can get one point in the power stage, so it's a real long shot but it's motorsport. And like I said, that's Scott who's the furthest away. It's an enduro round. It ain't gonna be finished till the power stage. That galvanized insurance power stage will be more important than ever. And it's 43 kilometers, I think. Crazy. Like it's, the longest stage we had up to this point was in Queensland was 24 Ks. So think of the concentration, these new roads to Tassie, there could be a real twist even right at the end. This rally literally won't be over till it's over. Let's bounce through some of the others. Eddie Maguire, yeah. you could say, well, we're in Tassie, we're on home turf. But in real terms, most people competing here haven't done these stages in a long while or they're an amalgamation of other stages. So we are effectively on a fresh event. Great chance for him to, to step up and, and you know, all the, the love and support of home, if you like. Lewis, roll the dice, go for it, absolutely go for it. And does Harry, who I feel has grown maybe to another level this year, does he conserve? Do you just play it the same way? Do you not change the playbook? What do you do? I think Harry's going to need all that new experience. You know, very experienced co-driver in Coral. She, you know, she's won five championships. It's a really, no one understands actually how difficult it is to win from the front because it's essentially his championship to lose at the moment. So in some ways, the pressure is on him. How fast does he go? Your natural style is to compete and go for stage wins and to try and match Scott Lewis. Ro rolling off that is yeah. actually risky, isn't it? You Absolutely, know. and then, mm. then those things come into play. So he's got a nice buffer, it is enduro, and it's not probably Scott that he's looking at, he's looking at Eddie, who's been uber consistent. Eddie probably needs to just lift to put the pressure on a little bit. He's only won one stage out of you know, 66 stages this year. And Lewis has come on strong. In actual fact, I think Lewis has a bit of the momentum at the moment and he's right behind Eddie. So if something did happen to Harry, which we don't wish upon him, the other three, it could be an amazing finish. So even though our leader has a nice gap, there's still a lot of little stories going on here. Worst question in motorsport journalism, who wins? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, if you uh, if I had to use your or my money, Rusty, and, and you know make it to the bar on Sunday, not I a mean, lot of money there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, Harry's short price favourite, and it has to be. And I think now has the maturity and the experience to manage that quite well. But like we know, it, he will know more than anybody until I get into that final time control with all the points allocated, it ain't over till it's over. So there you go, if you were driving by the One North Terrace Hotel here in Burnie, there would have been last night one light on quite late at night, Dean Herridge crunching the numbers, <laughs> moving everything around. That's a little look at what might play out this weekend. Title decider, it is gonna be epic.